song and the vibe kind of switch up a little bit. It didn't go to slow jams, but it went to, I'm about to give you like a lap dance jam. I see you whining and grinding. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's going on? This is a question and answer video. I'm taking all of these questions from my Instagram, so follow me on Instagram, that's at T Pendel. And Snapchat Tuesday is coming back. Not sure if it's gonna come back next week or if it's gonna drop on, it'll be back next week. One of them days next week. It's playing, I don't know if y'all can hear it. First question is, can I get a shout out though? That was just shout out. Look at, your, look at your whole little joint right there. Don't ask me to do this no more. Second question is, how do you deal with high school teachers that give a whole bunch of damn homework? This is what I would do. Sneak into the classroom, because they normally have like a homework bin or somewhere they keep all the homework, and then steal everybody's homework. Do this like two or three times, they probably say the hell with homework, and just get frustrated because they keep misplacing all the damn homework. If you get caught, don't blame it on me. You're almost an adult, you make your own decisions. Kodak G says, man, when you gonna make a losing the virginity story time? That would be so lit. All y'all want to talk about is ankles and sex and nasty stuff. I don't plan on making that video anytime soon. How you know I'm not still in the V-Club? My, my goodies might not have been tainted yet. They might be untouched. What's the best way to lose weight and stay toned? Get your ass off the computer or off your phone right now and go work out. What that upper lip smell like dough? Smell like booty. Are we ever gonna see you play football? What position did you play? I played safety in college. I already told y'all this before. And I got like some flag football videos that are up online. I'm gonna try to bring some of those back. But I'm not running full speed, full contact into anyone anytime soon. It's just not happening. <laughs> What is your biggest pet peeve? Also, awesome love you bitch. Thank you for watching. Big pet peeve is, uh, I don't like cigarette smoke. It's not like my biggest, it's one of my biggest. I don't like cigarette smoke. I don't like smoking in general, but yeah, cigarettes are just like, ugh. Would you ever consider making another webisode series? I was involved in a couple web series. I would consider doing that. I might have something coming soon for you all on my channel, maybe. What is your opinion on Colin Kaepernick's situation? The crazy thing about it is he's taking a stand for something. There's other ways he could have took a stand, but this is the way he chose to take a stand. So that's what he's doing. And it's so funny, like, especially in America, it's supposed to be freedom of speech. You're supposed to be able to say whatever you want freely and how you feel. But most of the time when someone says something freely and another crowd or group of people or people in general don't like it, like they get bashed. So it's freedom of speech as long as everyone agrees with what the hell you're doing. And on another note with that, if you sit back and look at it and the reason behind why he doesn't want to stand. The only, not the only, most of the people that are frustrated and that don't agree with it have not been affected by the things that have been happening in the community, especially the black community. So it's very hard for people to understand where he's coming from if you haven't lived that life. You don't have relatives, you don't have friends. If you're not black, like you're not gonna understand that. So I'm for him. If he don't want to stand, he don't have to stand. You can do well with love. Fuck! You wanna do. <laughs> if y'all don't like it, so what? You ain't gotta like it. You stand. You do what you wanna do, let him do what he wanna do. That's it. T, do you play ball? I do play basketball sometimes. I'm like that guy that's on the court that's too aggressive because I'm more of a football player. So it's almost like I'm playing basketball, but I'm in prison. That's traveling, bitch. I'm like the Dennis Rodman. Modern day. There is a girl that I like, but I don't know how to talk to her. Can you help? A lot of y'all be on the internet too much and on y'all phones too much. Put the phone down, put the internet down, put the text message down. Go up to her, tell her how you feel. She be gonna roll with you, but she not gonna roll with you. That's it. You win some, you lose some. Tell her how you feel. Write down a note. Read a note to her. Don't be nervous. If you get curved, you get curved. Everybody get curved every once in a while. If you get curved, it's curved. You gotta curve the curve and then go to the next curve and see if another pretty young thing over there waiting for you. What is your favorite memory? from your childhood. One of my favorite memories, I was in middle school and my grandmother got me a leather jacket and it was real leather. I, t I tell this story all the time, man. People in the school knew I was coming down the hallway because they smelt that real leather on the way. And even when it started getting hot towards like the spring and the summer, I took the inner lining out in the leather jacket and still was rocking it. I did not want to let this leather jacket go. You coming to my game on Saturday? Nah, bro. Probably not. I'm gonna be um in DC for play this live come Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Unless y'all playing inside the hotel, I might slide through for a quarter, maybe get like a little hot dog at the hot dog stand. It's been a few years. Can I date my ex's best friend yet? Hey Steve, if that's your ex and y'all done, y'all don't have feelings no more, that's up to your ex best friend if she comfortable enough for that. You don't got nothing to do with that, Steve. On some real talk. Some of y'all women gonna be in the comments talking about that's just wrong. Friends should never date friends, exes. Look, Steve, you grown. If it ain't work out, boom. She might be the one that it work out with. And why does the ex kid, if y'all not together, ain't no damn time frame. Slide over there, 
the slide over there. Let me know how I end up. And I'm gonna end the video right there. And I know some of y'all already probably running on that last question, but let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's wrong to date your best friend's ex? Have y'all ever done it? Would you do it? Has it ever happened to you? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you hit the like button. All my links are in the description. Stay connected, and I'm gonna see y'all next time.